Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and in today's video, I'm happy to introduce to you KeywordTool.io, a really good keyword research tool that helps you with business plans, with uh, estimates on traffic, with uh, content ideas, with many things to help you with your business and your marketing plans and structure. So what I'm gonna do, uh, which we do on the channel most of the time, is we talk about topics and we show you the real thing with screen shares so you can visually understand it in addition to what we're talking about. And then you can make your choice if you like it or not. And of course, uh, you know, comments if you have any questions, we're here to answer and help, et cetera. So let me give you a real example, let's jump into it, okay? So right now, uh, let's say I'm doing some content marketing or I'm making a business plan. I wanna estimate and I wanna understand what people are looking for within my industry. So let's say, for example, I'm just making up a new business. I am uh, making, I have an e-commerce site and I'm actually selling smartwatches. I made my own brand, just for example, it's the example of the video. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go here, go to Google, I'm gonna type smartwatch, okay? I'm gonna select the country in the language that I want and I'm gonna click on search, okay? So what is happening here? I'm gonna show you some details here. So first of all, you can see within the term smartwatches, I have about 600,000 searches a month in Google, uh, and I have about 697 keywords. I'll talk about the filters, why it says here in a second. So I can see my average cost per click if I want to uh, run ads is about a dollar. It's very competitive. Uh, it's 93, very, very high competition. And here are all the terms, here are all the keywords and the keyword ideas that real people are searching for on Google, you can understand. So for example, smartwatch, there's 33,000 uh, searches a month and it's typically going up, the trend is going up. It costs about $1.14 to, for, per keyword per click on Google ads and it's very competitive. It's the highest competition there is. So other than that, you can have more ideas. This is the, the best part of it. So aside from keywords that you're looking for, it'll give you all these ideas you may not have thought about, right? So uh, Samsung smartwatch is very popular, almost 50,000 a month. So smartwatch for Android, smartwatch for men. And you can look at all these ideas, all these things that people are searching for and the volume. So Galaxy smartwatch, which is Samsung, Citizen is another company, Google, et cetera. And you're, see, you're seeing all these other competitives, this, most likely is a, another brand that's competing. People are searching on Best Buy, people are searching on different things, right? Hybrid, and let's go down a little bit. You can see people are looking for smart a smartwatch comparison. So maybe in my content, my blog, maybe I might wanna make an article saying, okay, I wanna compare the different smartwatches and there's 1300 people that are searching for that every month. So this will help me come up with different ideas. So I can take these keywords and find the ones that I want. For example, these ones, select them and actually use them to do my market research, right? I can export them, I can do many things. So uh, this is kind of the idea. So what, what I can do also with these keyword uh, topics is I can actually do the same thing for different channels, right? So YouTube and Bing and Amazon and eBay, app stores, both the iPhone app store, iOS app store and Android and different social media. And this is Google Trends. So what, what is this helpful? And then I wanna do two things. One is, what is this helpful? How does this help me? Second one is I wanna look at all these details and filters and all these cool things that you can do here. Okay, so what, what does that help me? So let's say I wanna estimate how many people, how many customers, how many visitors are looking for my product. Now, first of all, I already have a list. I already know this is the maximum potential amount of people from searchers on these channels that are looking for my product. It's a lot, right? So I wanna find those niches. I wanna find the specific keywords that are super relevant to me, right? So if I'm, I have my own brand, let's just call it One Scale Smartwatch, um, I know that uh, maybe this keyword might not be interesting for me, but it is good to, to know how many people are looking for my uh, competitor, right? but I can find all kinds of topics to say, okay, this one is relevant to me, I wanna rank on SEO for this, or I wanna get these people uh, to my website, right? Okay, these ones, so for example, I do a smartwatch for Android, that makes sense, a smart, it's, it's for men, it's for women, and I can select all these things and I can actually go ahead here and I can export it. I can export it, for example, to Excel, okay? and I can just open it either in Excel or Google Drive or you know something like that. Let's go here. And I can actually see all the keywords. Now I can use it for my market research, for my presentations, et cetera. So here's my keywords. Here's the search volume, my average search volume per month, and here's for every single month within the last 12 months. 
right? So this is July, August, September, et cetera, et cetera. The trend, is it going up or down? Is it growing? Are more people searching for it? The average cost for ads and the competition, 100 is the highest, okay? Um, so let's go back here, okay? So what else can I do here that's really, really interesting for your research, okay? So number one is all the list of the keywords that are here, you can see the trends, which is nice. You can see the totals, etc. cetera. The, the most important thing that I, I like to do aside from just using the tool is use these filters here. So first of all, the search network, you should use different platforms to see where your customers and your visitors are. Number two, you can also filter by volume. So let me show you this. Let me go here, for example. If you click on the summary box on the settings, you'll be able to filter certain things. So you can change the currency. If you have a different currency, the, the, one, for the, the one for the average cost per click. And you can actually filter. You can remove, for example, very low or very high search volumes. For example, if you remember before, I, I don't want to see anything that has less than 100 searches per month or costs a certain one or is less competitive. And the other one is I can, I can specify, do I want to show only specific keywords or not show specific keywords? And for me, I really like using the negative keywords, which is, for example, I don't want in my list right here, I don't want to see anything about Samsung, just for example. So I go here to, to the negative keywords and I type in Samsung right here. If you remember, there's 237 out of this. So there's a total of 697 keywords, but I use all these filters, for example, free and children and whatever. So it's within my negative keywords, it's only filtering these ones. So if I click here, 237 before, it filtered out six keywords because I don't want to see Samsung related terms. I can do with different filters. So filters are very, very important. Knowing what you don't want to see, negative keywords, knowing what you want to see is regular keywords. Search volume filters and obviously the channel itself, okay? Uh, what else can you do here? You can export things, you can copy. If you just want to copy the term, for example, I, if I select the here copy, I copied all the list of the keywords. If I want to select specific one, I'll use the checkbox and I can copy it, right? If I want to copy not just the keywords, I want to copy the whole rows, you can go here and you can select, you can click so copy with search volume or with all data, it'll copy everything, okay? What else can you do? Let's say I'm searching for a smartwatch and then I'm searching for uh, cool gifts, for example, and I continue to search for different terms and terms. What I can do is I can actually put all of the different searches, I can actually put them in one shared area. So for example, here, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna click on add to keyword basket. It's gonna go kind of like a, a shopping cart. It's gonna go right here and it's gonna put everything in one place. Okay, so cool gifts. Now let's say I go ahead and I wanna search for something else. For example, smart watch. Okay, and let's just say I wanted, excuse me, right here. I wanted these ones I'm gonna to add to my list as well. Okay, so now I took all my different keywords from my different channels, from my different searches, and I put them here in keywords. Now I have everything in one place, and I can put everything in one place so I can actually use them, make my own reports. I can export them, etc. Okay, I can do all my exports and everything. Okay, I can also remove them. If I don't want one, I can remove it from right here. Okay, so what else is important here? A few more things. Let's go back here. Um, so in addition to a list of all the keywords within the filters you have, you also have some kind of sub uh, terms or sub categories, let's call them, right here. So let's say all my list is right here. They're all right here. But let's say I want to actually see people are searching for a smartwatch, but they're looking for questions. This is especially important for blog posts that you might be, right? So for example, uh, which, which smartwatch is best for seniors? That's a great topic. It's very niche. You can make an article and you can promote that article and get to people if you want to target seniors, you can make that. And this is, there's 110 people a month searching for that within the United States, okay? You can change the filters, you can change the locations as well. Um, what else, prepositions, this is especially also good in my point for uh, content. For example, I like the, my keyword and then the word for something or in something or at something. So you can see the search terms of people are looking for very specific prepositions, okay? Smartwatch near me is a very good one, for example. Okay, people are looking for a store. And related keywords, not just smartwatches, but other terms that might be related to it. For, for example, specific products, specific topics, etc. 
that's really the, a, it. The other than that, um, you have here the keyword tool, you have the search volume. If you have a list of keywords already, instead of typing in one by one, you can actually bulk type in a list of them and it's going to put it in your list. So for example, smart watch, smart watch senior, seniors, and et cetera, et cetera. You can click get volume based on your filters right here and it'll just give you a list of all the ones you want to. So if you have a specific list, you can see those as well. Um, other than that, there is API access. I have not used it, but if you want to programmatically, if you want, you have a developer and you want to programmatically do these things, you want to integrate it with your app or other, you can do that. I looked at the documentation for uh, just a few minutes. It's a very, very simple documentation. It should be easy. I have not used it, but it's very, very simple to just query your terms, get your data, I back. So <clears throat> that's it pretty much. So I've showed you the whole time with Google. You can do this with anything else. For example, let's say I'm trying to promote my smartwatch on Amazon. I can type in here, Amazon. I, ch I check my country, my language, and I can go here and I can see on Amazon what are the search volumes. Obviously, a lot of people want to buy smartwatches on Amazon. And uh, that's it pretty much. In uh, the Google, let's go right here. Just a few summary things. Let's go Google here. You do have within the this, this specific channel, some of the channels do have filters. For example, within Google search, I can search for all Google search or only Google images or only Google shopping, etc. So there's gonna be some differences that you may or may not want to use. Uh, so to summarize this thing, keywordtool.io is a website, is a tool that helps save a ton of time for your business for your marketing efforts, for your business planning, for estimating how many people are searching for certain terms. It's better than, uh, in my opinion, than Google uh, research, keyword research for ads, ad planners, etc. because number one, it has more channels. Number two, it's very organized. And number three, um, there's a lot of charts and simple exports that you can use here. It's great. I love the negative keyword. That's especially important. You should use those filters as much as possible. Put everything together in your keywords and then you can have your research and you can see the trends and you can see the competition and you can find all kinds of niches. Another uh, interesting tip would be you might want to filter, for example, I can go here and see all the keywords that are, uh, let's go right here, for example, let's go to right here. So I can see all the keywords that maybe are very cheap to uh, advertise against and I might decide, you know what, it's very cheap to advertise, maybe I make a piece of content and I get more customers through there, just for example, okay? Um, you wanna look at search volume, find out who's uh, looking for what and it really helps uh, for me with content, it helps with uh, business planning, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you guys enjoy this tool. If you have other tools you like, please share with me. We're gonna make more and more videos if a competitor uh, another pro uh, website does something better that this one doesn't, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. And as always, uh, this is a community. This is not just a channel. We have a website, oneskills.com. We're making social media. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're not sure, if you want to share more insight, if you have questions, we're here to answer. Ask, comment on the YouTube channel, on the website, everywhere. And uh, we're here to make more information, better information, better for you guys. Uh, make the world better with more data, with good data, with good knowledge. And appreciate it, guys, for watching the video. Thank you very much.